the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew chapter 22, beginning at the 34th verse. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together, and one of them, a scholar of the law, tested him by asking, Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. The Pharisee who questioned Jesus in today's Gospel reading claimed to be looking for the most important commandment out of the hundreds that were in the Jewish law. However, Jesus did not reply to his question by giving him one commandment, but two, what he called the greatest or first commandment and a second commandment that resembles it. It seems that Jesus did something very original here. He took two commandments that were in the different books of the Jewish scriptures. The first commandment that you love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, which is in the book of Deuteronomy. And the second commandment, you must love your neighbor as yourself, which is in the book of Leviticus. Jesus brought these commandments together in a way that was unique to him. What is common in both, what is common to both commandments is that little word love. It is as if Jesus is saying, if you really want to get to the heart of God's law, what it is that God wills for our lives, it is love. Love is the center of the Jewish law. It is also, of course, the center of Jesus' message. If these two commandments to love are the most important of all the commandments in the Jewish law, Jesus insists that one of these commandments to love is more important than the other. The first and most important of the two is to love God with all our heart, all our soul, all our mind. In that first commandment, we are being asked to give God first place in our lives. God alone is to be loved with all our being. This involves acknowledging our dependence on God, recognizing how much we receive from God, and then offering all that back to God in love. Jesus implies that this love of God is the inspiration and foundation for our love of others, a love that has something of the quality of God's own love for humanity.